Hi there, this is Jamie from Zero G. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through our impromptu textual percussions library for the full version of Native Instruments Contact 6.4.1 or higher. Impromptu textual percussions was created in collaboration with prestigious percussionist and composer Hugh Wilkinson, who recorded all the source material for the library. And what it offers is a collection of 30 patches made from seven different percussion instruments that you can morph and granulate and turn into complex soundscapes that have a very organic feel to them. The featured instruments are glockenspiel, vibraphone, crotales, cymbals, waterphone, snare drum and tambourine. And in a moment we'll look at how you can start to manipulate these samples. But first off, let's listen to some audio demos from impromptu textual percussions. As you can hear, all of the sounds have a very unique blend of real organic percussion instruments and also complex textual soundscapes created from the percussion. So you can see I've got impromptu textual percussions open in contact now, and in the browse area on the left you can see how the patches are laid out. So we have three initial impromptu instruments, a folder of bowed instruments, other patches which has snares and tambourines, the sound design folder which features patches created by combinations of different percussion instruments and finally the unpitched folder with more cymbals and snares. Then turning to the interface here we have the impromptu engine which is what lies at the heart of impromptu textual percussions. In here you can find a system of improvised unsynced percussion performances combined with a granular synthesis engine. And this impromptu engine runs for the main glockingspiel, vibraphone and crotales patches here. And by using the mod wheel or this central dial here, each note you play, you can move the mod wheel and it will crossfade between three different intensity layers like this. Now looking at the rest of the interface, we have the granulation machine, which you can activate and control the volume of in the mixer area here. In the granular engine, you can tweak the grain size, stretch percentage, tuning, and there's also a switch for applying a delay to the granular signal. The granulation machine is perfect for creating harmonically rich and interesting soundscapes with metallic textures from the percussion. And I'll be demoing this in just a moment. Also on the interface, we have some effects available, including a transient shaper, a plate reverb, tape saturation and a diffusion switch which activates a delay. 
The mixer section here will change depending on which patch you have loaded and allow you to mix microphone positions such as stereo overhead, close mic and mid room. Then we have the grains fader and an additional walk fader which is a pre-rendered processed granular layer. So I'm now going to play impromptu textual percussions and use all of the features that have been discussed so you can see how each of the parameters affect the sound. So that is Impromptu Textual Percussions, a really creative and experimental library that allows you to take percussion samples to a completely new place and explore granular synthesis. It's bound to spark some inspiration. Just to remind you, Impromptu Textual Percussions includes contact files for the full version of Contact 6.4.1 or higher. And for more audio demos, videos and information, just click the link in the description of this video or head to www.0g.co.uk. Thanks for watching.